think that's what allows him to make the plays that he's able to make, you know, outside of his instinct. You know, his formation recognition really is also good, but just uh, he's not going to concern himself with things that just doesn't concern him. You know, he's focused on what, what concerns him, what's going to affect him on a day-to-day -day or play-to-play -play basis, and uh, that's, that's what I've learned. I mean, Jay, how much of it's instinct with Asante and how much of it's film work? Is it a combination? It's definitely a combination because you can watch all the, you can watch a buttload of film, but at the end of the day, I mean, teams prepare for you. So just what you see a team running the week before, you might not see none of those plays. So a team, a team, a team is preparing for your weakness. So you can see five or six routes that show up for eight straight weeks, and then see none of those routes when you play that particular game. So it's a combination of things: a combination of our film, instincts, mannerisms, studying that individual, and uh, something has all that. That's why he's able to make the plays that he's been able to make. If, if, he can't, if he can't go, how different will it be for the defense if he can't go Sunday? I mean, you know, it's, that's why it's professional sports. You know, it's not Pop Warner. You know, it's not going to be that much of a drop off because guys are, you know, guys are professionals. Uh, you know, guys, backups. These guys are preparing. They've been preparing their whole lives. Their life. I, I've been a backup. I mean, it's just, you know, you never know what a guy can do unless he gets an opportunity. I mean, but Hosilio is a guy who's very, who's, who's proven. He's proven that he can play in this league. He's been starting this league. He started for you know a couple of games. So I mean, he's uh, we're very confident. You know I mean, of course, Asante is an impact player, but I mean, we're confident that Osiris is going to come in. He's going to do exactly what he needs to do. Bears are a team that like to they like to take deep shots a lot. Mm -hmm. do you, as a cornerback, do you like playing against a team like that? Well, they don't throw the ball. I don't get no interceptions. So I mean, as simple as that. They got to throw for me to get any interceptions. I mean, but. Uh, I mean, that, that's why you prepare, because you prepare to get interceptions. You know, you don't prepare not to get thrown at. You know, I mean, they like to go over the top a lot. Oh, yeah. you like you like that part of it? They, they're going to challenge you deep a lot. I mean, they got to have time, too. So, I mean, it all depends. It all depends who you're playing. We have a pass rush. So, you know, uh, how they match up against us, we, we feel real good. We feel really good about our matchup. So, we're excited about it. Jay Cutler has a penchant for throwing interceptions. Yeah, he does. He does. But he's also he's talented, too. So, I mean, you don't want to go into a game focusing on, on everything he does bad and then he has one of his best games against, against you. Nah, so, I mean, he's a, he's a talented quarterback. That's why he's starting his league and that's why he's been successful in his league. So you have to respect respect him in that fashion and prepare for him accordingly like you would anybody else. Why 